Hello everyone and welcome to this new League of Legends video. In today's video will be a guide on a reworked Anivia currently in patch 6.12 and let's get right into it. So first let's start off with the champion select and for the summoner spells you want to go flash and then choose between teleport and ignite. Now ignite is better if you want to have an aggressive laning phase and go for early first bloods. But I prefer teleport and I usually always take teleport on Anivia because it just helps you catch up with roaming mid laners a lot more, which Anivia struggles with. And you can just get back to lane a lot more quicker, uh, gank other lanes, it's just a lot more helpful than Ignite in my experience. Then for the runes and masteries, uh, which will be in the description and on your screen right now, so you can check them out. Now, going over to her build, you want to start off with Doran's Ring and two potions, and then for your core items, you want to for your core items you want to get as soon as possible, which are Rod of Ages, Archangel Staff, and Sorcerer Shoes. I usually start off with Rod of Ages and then build Archangel Staff and Sorcerer Shoes are kind of at the same time, and then you can, you can choose between the optional items, which are some like Rabadons, Void Staff, Leandry Stormens, Zonia, etc. Of course, it always depends on which kind of situation you're in, on, or which items you need, and which enemies are you up against. Of course, it always depends on which situation you're in. And if you ever get lost in um, choosing which items you need, you, there will also be an example build pad on your screen, which you can't really go wrong with. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for her build. Now, going over to his, her abilities, her passive is basically a free guardian angel which revives you every time you die and it has a cooldown uh, timer of 5 minutes and it's very helpful and it can save you in a lot of situations. Her Q is basically a AoE stun which you can reactivate which explodes when reactivated or when it uh, goes out of her of Q's max range which explodes and deals damage and stuns enemies inside of it. Then her W is a terrain generating ability which generates a ice wall which you can use to block off enemies, catch enemies or save your allies. Her E is targeted damaging ability which when hit slowed by your Q or your ultimate deals uh, e ridiculous amounts of damage. And of course her ultimate is a AoE damaging ability which damages and slows enemies inside it, it slowly grows uh, while you place it on the ground and um, it's just an amazing ability which you probably want to use often to uh, CS and um, catch your opponents in team fights. but we'll get to that in just a bit. Now for the skill order uh, leveling up. You want to start off with your Q, then followed by your E, and then uh, ma then on level 3 you level up your W, and then max E, then second you want to max Q, and ultimate whenever you can of course, and your W want to la uh, level up last. Now going over to some tips and tricks for her laning phase, a nice tip, like nice thing which you can do in the laning phase is Auto attack your opponent, especially if you are long ranged and they are melee ranged. If you can, you can easily take half of their HP if you are in a good position to attack them. Of course, you don't want to do that if there's a lot of uh, enemy minions in the lane because they can focus you and out uh, damage you, which you don't really want to happen. And um, yeah, that's pretty much about that. Then play safely around your Q because you're very wonder, uh, vulnerable when there when you don't have your Q because you don't really have an escape or a safe way to get out. Of course, you can play around your W, which can get you out of sticky situations a lot of times, but not too that much in the lane because it on your first le few levels you don't really have that big of a wall to block off a lot of enemies. Then for Anivia's combo, what, what you have to do, what you want to do, 
and why the combo is used for is to hit your empowered E. Now you can do that by starting off with your ultimate to slow the enemy down, then you can easily hit your Q, hold about your E and your W to keep them in your ultimate as much as possible and if they're not dead already you can out attack them a bit and they'll probably they'll they'll whore HP will probably disappear. You can also start your combo off with your W to stop them or manipulate their movement to easily hit your Q, hold by your ultimate and then your E and then just out attack them if they're not dead already. And that has been pretty much it for today's guide video. Hope you guys enjoyed in this video. Of course, all of the information are in the description if you want to check that out. And um, there will also be a, a link in the description to a guide which I found on, uh, which I found very helpful while making this video. And of course, make sure to comment down below. I really want to uh, hear what you guys think and uh, how these guys uh, are. These guides helpful enough for you because I am planning to do a lot more of them and I want to get better at them so make sure to comment down below leave a like or dislike and subscribe share with your friends everyone who uh, plays mid lane or if you want to try out Anivia or get a friend to play it because she's pretty OP I'm not gonna lie that's the reason why I main her and uh, yeah so hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to Click that like button and uh, subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.